I'm Dom with IQ and Vision, and this is our Sentinel all-weather megapixel camera that is entirely power over Ethernet. In this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to install one of these outdoors. The following depicts the parts included with the Sentinel camera kit. You get an indoor, outdoor camera and lens module. You have a wall, ceiling, and parapet mount arm. You have a power data back box, a 3mm Allen wrench, a punch down tool, a drill template, mounting hardware, and an IQ tool CD-ROM. Now the tools you're going to need for the installation process are very basic tools. You'll need a power drill, a drill bit, wire cutters, wire strippers, 5 8 inch or adjustable wrench, precision straight blade screwdriver, 3mm Allen wrench, which is supplied with your Sentinel, a punch down tool, also supplied with your Sentinel, and depending on the mounting hardware used, a 3 8 inch or 10 millimeter socket, Phillips or straight blade bit will be needed. Before mounting the power data back box, we need to determine if the camera installation will be wall, ceiling, or parapet, and if the cabling will pass through the compression fittings on the back or through the half inch or 15 millimeter NPT conduit mount on the bottom of the back box. For this installation, we will wall mount the Sentinel cameras and pass the data and I.O. cabling through the compression fittings on the back of the back box. After the data and I.O. cabling has been pulled to the mounting location, make sure to apply weatherproof sealant in the hole the cabling passes through to prevent moisture from getting behind the wall surface. Since we are wall mounting the Sentinel on rough masonry, we will not use the drill template. The drill template is better suited for smooth surfaces. Instead, we'll use the back box to locate the four mounting holes. Data cabling must be routed to the right side of the back box labeled wall side ethernet. And I.O. cabling used for the relay output must be routed toward the middle of the back box and terminated on the screw terminal block. After the cables are terminated, make sure to tighten the compression fittings to ensure water cannot enter the back box from the cable entry. The back box is also equipped with camera arm hangers on both sides to facilitate installation. It is also recommended to leave the supply desiccant pack in the back box to prevent condensation buildup inside due to humidity present during installation. After all connections are made, remove the camera from the hangers and secure it to the back box by tightening the four screws with the supplied Allen wrench. Well, I hope this video provided you with some useful information. If you have further questions about installing Sentinel series cameras, please give us a call or send us an email at support at iqeye.com.